So happening today, last day to register as a Republican online. After that, you can register in person at your nearest caucus location on the day of that very caucus, which is one week from today, March 22nd. Website you need to visit if you're looking to register is on your screen, vote.utah.gov. We do have a big day here in the state of Utah. Instead of just the Doug Wright rap, we've gone the next step here. We've got uh, <laughs> the scoop this morning from Doug Wright, as well as the Utah Democratic Party Chair Peter Caroon and Utah Republican Party Chair James Evans joining us with some important things coming up. I guess, James, maybe important to start here uh, with the Republicans and talk a little bit about this debate issue that we have next Monday night. Will there be a debate? Will Donald Trump be here? And does what happens today depend largely on what happens? Well, my speculation is yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So succinct. Uh, also, too, want to mention, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier with Haley about um, Trump hasn't necessarily made a scheduled campaign stop here, but you're saying you're hearing otherwise. Uh, yes, his, his campaign team is uh, in town tonight, and, and we expect all kinds of things from Mr. Trump as well as the other candidates. So they're going to be here. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I enjoy the speculation, but you know, we'll, we'll have a debate, and we think that all the surviving candidates will be there Monday night. Okay. All right. Let's talk about the caucus because uh, very different this year from last. Because of course, last year we had a primary. What do voters need to know? Well, the first thing they should do is go to caucus.utah.gov or their respective party websites to find out where their caucuses will be. Uh, Republicans do have an online component. I'll let James talk about that. But for, for Democrats, go to caucus.utah.gov. You'll find the location uh, Tuesday night, March 22nd, 6 to 8, 30 p.m. You can go there and vote for your favorite presidential candidates. Pretty simple. And for the Republican Party, our caucus starts at 7 p.m. So ours is 7 to 9. And uh, most importantly, this time around, you can vote online if you're not able to make your caucus, or you can cast an absentee ballot as well. So those are two additional options you have for the Republican caucus. But we encourage everyone who can to attend in person so that you can also vote for your delegates as well as precinct officers. But this time around, online voting. So you need to register by today. Uh, we may have to slip that day because we're having so much demand for online voting, but I would encourage you to get it done by today. Doug, let's talk quickly. We have Chelsea Clinton in town today. Right. Kasich and Rubio scheduled to make appearances we know about right. later this week. What will happen today with these Mega Tuesday states, and how will that shape how this next five, seven days plays out? You know, everybody's speculating about that. What effect will this uh, Super Tuesday 3, is how it's being labeled by many people, affect what uh, what follows and especially here in the state of Utah as we're anticipating our first ever presidential debate one week from last night uh, there are many people that are speculating that Marco Rubio may be out tomorrow if he does not if he loses his home state and that's a winner take all in Florida and if he does not fare well in some of the other states it's going to be really really tough for Mr. Rubio now he has schedules you know here in the state of Utah but we've seen this happen before everybody goes in nobody's going to say well it's going to be tough and we'll see if I'm standing on Wednesday everybody goes in with that optimism but we've seen a lot of people stand up on Wednesday and say we're suspending the campaign yeah. We, we know many talks in politics, and of course, one of Rubio's PACs right. has uh, suspended after Florida is not spending any additional money in television ads. So they really have their money in Florida. If nothing oh, happens after Florida, then who it's knows? It's critical. Can I just mention, too, how much I appreciate what these guys have done this year? You know, moving our primary up, having mm -hmm. things in March where we become relevant rather than waiting until June. And plus, I appreciate the way the caucuses are being handled. You know, James and I have had many conversations. Peter and I have had many conversations about the caucus convention. Regardless of how you feel about caucus or general primary voting, the fact is this has been opened up now to the point where it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard to come up with an excuse why you didn't or why you aren't going to participate in the caucuses. Yeah, yes. and one, th one thing to mention, the Democratic caucus is open to everybody, so every everybody can vote. Democrat, independent, even moderate Republicans, if they want to vote in our caucus, can do so. Why do Republicans refuse to open their caucus to anyone? Well, you can, you know, anyone can participate as long as but you have to register the, as, as long as you affiliate as Republican. Yes, that was a choice made by our delegates and our governing body. And um, and that's just the great thing about America is you can have different organizations with with different perspectives and you can choose the one that f best fits you. But what if as an independent, I want I don't want to register as a Republican. However, I want to vote in the Republican caucus. You're leaving a group of people out. Uh, no, it's their choice. 
we've established what we what our requirements are and it's up to you to decide whether you want to participate or not if it's that important to you to cast your vote for a Republican nominee then you would affiliate as a Republican and cast your vote and if you don't want to do that there are other political parties where you can participate of course you can affiliate as a Republican and then disaffiliate that's your that's your right yes right. Yeah. Gentlemen, we welcome thank you all. so much. And I uh, appreciate that. And, and uh, so do we, as long as affiliated Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, James, Doug, you guys are great. More on the Doug Wright Show, 9 to noon on KSL News Radio. Do have to get